You ever wonder where the storm drain goes? Pretty sure it goes to the wastewater treatment facility. Right? Wrong. Hey everybody, my name is Mike Huffman, Stormwater Administrator for the City of Hendersonville, and I'm here today to talk to people about a common problem that affects everybody, stormwater pollution. Some people might be asking, what is stormwater? Anytime it rains or snows, the water that falls onto hard surfaces like driveways, parking lots, or rooftops runs off and is discharged into storm drains. Currently, stormwater pollution is the number one pollutant to surface water qualities in the United States. And the reason for that is because anything that's on those hard surfaces, such as oil, grease, sediment, fertilizers or pesticides, and single-use plastics, washes out into our stormwater drains. And unlike the drainage systems in your homes that are connected to a sanitary sewer, which go to a wastewater treatment facility, storm drain networks typically do not go to any type of treatment facility and are discharged directly into our creeks and waterways. So here we are at a stormwater outfall. This is the point where all of that stormwater runoff and associated pollutants leave the pipe system and enter into the streams and rivers. As you can see, there's no type of treatment that this runoff receives before it reaches surface waters. As many of us know, plastic pollution has become a huge issue for our waterways. Let's take a trip downstream to see what Asheville Greenworks and the city of Hendersonville are doing to try and combat that litter and plastic pollution. Here we are downstream on Mud Creek. The device you see behind me is called the Mud Creek Trash Trout. Asheville Greenworks designed and built the device and partnered with the city of Hendersonville to install it in the summer of 2017. In the past four years, this device has captured almost 6,500 pounds of aquatic litter. Based on research we've done, the majority of that is single-use plastics and styrofoam. Of that litter, the majority of it comes from stormwater runoff and roadside trash. Thanks to Mike, we have a better idea of how stormwater and its associated effects can be problematic. Now let's talk about some ways that we can all help prevent trash and other pollutants from getting into our waterways. It's important to properly maintain any vehicles that you own so they don't leak oil or other fluids. And be sure to wash them on the grass or at a car wash so dirt and soap don't flow down the driveway and into the nearest storm drain. Try not to over fertilize your yard, never apply fertilizers or pesticides before a heavy rain, and if fertilizer falls onto driveways or sidewalks, sweep it up instead of hosing it away. Try to compost leaves and grass clippings if you can, or bag them up for pickup. Do not blow or rake them into the street where they tend to flow into storm drains. Pet owners should always pick up after their pets and dispose of pet waste in the garbage. Keep lawn and household chemicals tightly sealed and in a place where rain can't reach them. And dispose of old or unwanted chemicals at household hazardous waste collection sites or events. Never put anything in a storm drain, don't litter, and participate in local roadside and stream cleanup events. Thanks again for coming out, and remember, we all live downstream. <laughs>